Developing right now at noon. Details just into our newsroom about a police involved shooting this one out of Margate. It happened this weekend and it turned deadly. Local 10 News reporter Parker Branson is live at that scene. He tells us why police say they were forced to fire. Alexis Margate police shooting and killing this 82 year old man in this busy intersection right behind me. We got a chance to speak with that man's daughter. She says she didn't even know that her father owned a gun. All we heard was three, four gunshots and all hell broke loose after that. Cy Kareem was working a few doors down from where police shot and killed 82 year old Jose Suarez. Sirens like crazy. Sirens, a lot of police activities. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. Margate police said they got a call Sunday afternoon about someone pointing a gun at people along Rock Island Road near Northwest First Street. When they got there, they say they told Suarez to drop the gun several times, but he wouldn't do it. Police say he was even shooting the gun at the ground, eventually pointing it at officers. It was pretty intense. One of the Margate cops would end up shooting and killing him. Detectives shutting down the busy road for much of the day. He was a good guy and my mother loved him to death. Local 10 speaking with Suarez's daughter. She says her family did not even know he owned a gun. No, I didn't even know no. nothing about it. So Jose Suarez's family says they still have a lot of questions that they want answers to. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating. We're live in Margate. I'm Parker Branton, Local 10 News.